Social justice is the idea that everybody should be treated equal, no matter what their virtue, no matter what their vices, no matter how much they, let's say, in economics produce, they should all be the same. So the most secular social justice movement is really animated primarily by this notion of equality, of uh, equality of outcome, uh, whether it's economic, uh, outcome or whether it's social outcome, but they want equality of outcome. It's this altruistic idea that those who create more, produce more, who make more, who have more, who have higher standing for whatever reason, should sacrifice what they have or should be forced to sacrifice what they have if the state deems that necessary. Social justice is unjust. It's the opposite of justice. To demand equality of outcome is to demand an injustice. It is demand that we take from those who produce, from those who make, from those who justly have earned what they have, and give to those who have not produced, who do not deserve the benefits or the income or the wealth that is being taken. So, Social justice requires injustice in order to be applied in the real world. In the real world, people who make a lot of money, honestly, make a lot of money in a free market, deserve the wealth that they have. And to take money from them, to demand money from them, or even to guilt them into giving money away is immoral and unjust. Every single one of us is different, isn't that a beautiful thing? And to force us to be equal can only be achieved through violence, can only be achieved through force, can only be achieved by violating our rights. The only way to make me and LeBron James equal in basketball is to break his legs. And the only way to make me and Bill Gates equal in wealth is to do the equivalent to Bill Gates, which is to take the wealth that he has worked hard to earn. I think most of us should recognize the important role that free will plays in our lives. Yes, genes play a role. Yes, who our parents are is important. What the environment we live in is important. But the most important thing, the most important thing in an individual's lives is the choices he makes. The only compelling argument for social justice is to deny human nature. It's to deny free will. Since we are not responsible for anything we do, since nothing is really earned, then it's not ours. And it can be then distributed. And if it's not really ours, then we haven't earned it and we don't deserve it. And there's the whole issue of morality in a sense is out the window, certainly of individual morality. So the only obligation individuals have towards one another in a social context is to respect the right of the other individual to live their life free, free of coercion, free of force. So I have no right to inf inflict or to, to use force, to use coercion against any other individual in society. Other than that, I have no obligations outside the obligations I choose to have. 